Hey, Miko, this is my friend, and we have an appointment with Josephine. Yes, sir, this is it. Thanks. Thank you. Okay, so this is Josephine. She's the person in charge of everything, every services you're looking for here. Mm -hmm. And this is Kang, my friend from Dubai, and he wants to start a business in Hong Kong, and he wants to know what to do. Okay, sure. Hi, Kang. That's my card. Nice meeting you, Josephine Lam, yeah. right? Yes. Oh, there's a nice Hong Kong. Tell me a little bit more about your plan. Actually, me and my brother, we're going to start up an entertainment firm. Mm -hmm. As you know, in Dubai, we have a lot of shows, a lot of bars. So a lot of DJs will want to be the middle person. Yeah, sure. Okay, agent. Very first thing, we need to set up a limited company for you. All right. So you have a proper set up business in Hong Kong. And then on the next step, you need to set up a company bank account. All right. Because um, that's very important for any business. So where you're going to receive the money, where's the money coming in and so on. All right. And the next thing you might need to consider about getting an office in Hong Kong. Because um, you and your brother might need a place to work from. That's the main problem I'm facing yeah. right now. Because hotel rooms in Hong Kong are pretty small. You wouldn't have enough space to work in there. And it's a bit more appropriate to work at it. We have very flexible lease and it's all fully furnished office. Right. Internet, telephone lines, reception and service are right here. Right. So you don't need to pay so much extra additional fixed costs or, right. yeah, or anything like that. Um, you just need to move in with your notebook and take out one of the service office rooms. Right. Simple, easy. You guys provide Wi-Fi or Yes. It's all right. so okay. fully furnished with Wi-Fi, telephone communications, uh, reception answering phone calls, right. yeah, uh, front desk staff, um, handling mails, parcels, right, couriers, right. and so on. Okay. Yeah. The thing is, um, we don't know Cantonese, you know. Uh -huh. So if I want to get into, you know, Langkawi phone, uh -huh. how can I get into? The okay. Um, firstly, in Langkawi phone, there's a lot of expats as well. That's right. why there's many expats in Hong Kong. They're being spoiled. They never have to learn a word of Cantonese. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, you'll be able to move around in Hong Kong easily with All English. Right. Yeah. All right. Secondly, as sometimes on some events, some of our clients, they would need to hire ad hoc services on Cantonese translation. Yeah, yeah he, he on told me about that. Yeah. Yes, we offer such services as well. Alright, okay. So what, what's the charges? Uh -huh. uh, it depends. depends on the job nature. Like uh, uh -huh. if it's a per hour job, per day job, or it's a whole events job. Alright, mm -hmm. right. me and my brother be planning to run you know, a talk show mm -hmm. like twice a week maybe. Okay. So, you know, as I know, the hotel ballrooms are quite expensive in Hong Kong. Yes. And it's hard to book as well. Yeah. So, Definitely. how should I... Uh, we have sp finding space in Shawan office. We have oh, two right? offices. Yeah. Oh, okay. That, uh, that's, not, that one. Uh -huh. that's not the only one. This is not the only one. We have another one in Shanghai as well. Oh. Both on the Hong Kong island, where all the business is supposed to be. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you're, you're you in the city. <laughs> yeah, you're in the city. It's like right. five, ten minutes away from each of your clients and so on. Right. And uh, from Shanghai office, it's only ten minutes walk. You'll be at Lakwei Fong as well. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's a very nice venue. I thought Lakwei Fong is in Central. Central. Yeah, yeah, it's a walking distance. All you right. just have to go through Hollywood Road. All right, all yeah. right. Yeah. Alright, so what's the second stage? Like, what should I do the second step? Okay, well, uh, she needs to see the venue space as well. Let's uh -huh. head down there to our Shaman office. Alright, so is this nearby or...? Yes, it's very close. Alright, cool. So, shall we go now? Yes, let's go. Oh, cool. Yep. Alright, this place is kind of cool, I mean, like, feel good, you know, so can you guys tell me more about this place? Yeah, during the daytime, 9 to 6, uh, Mondays to Fridays, mm -hmm. this is a co-working space. Alright. Yeah, so a lot of clients will just come in with a notebook and they just work a couple of hours here. Um, sometimes they're here for printing stuff, and for arranging letters, collecting mails, or careers, and so on, right. and off they go. In the evenings, after 6 p.m., we use this as a family space. So, I mean, as you guys know that I'm going to run a, you know, entertainment company, so can I use this place better than the one show? Yes, yes. Maybe it will be uh -huh. easier for me to run the events. Yes, I mean, we normally use this place as an event venue. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, it's quite popular to run events after office hour. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh. So, we've been having an um, opening party, mm -hmm. a website launch party, wow. uh, okay. yep, uh, seminars, wow. or, or even courses as well. Wow. Yeah. So, it depends on what clients is looking for. Because um, we're fully equipped, so we just need to move the tables and chairs around. Mm -hmm. And um, if they need catering service, we'll work with a few local catering team. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. Wow. So, I mean, if I run my event, I need manpower. Can you guys provide some 
Yes, yes. We normally have a colleague to help, but um, if um, there's a special requirement, um, we can arrange a few more staff or even an uh, ad hoc waiter to oh, serve right. food or wines and so on. Well, that sounds good to me. Alright, so that's arranged it. Yeah, let's do it. Cool. Let's do it. Thanks. Thanks.